I am so excited today because I have as my very special guest, Dr. Barbara Sweeney from Atlanta, Georgia. Dr. Barbara, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, I am Dr. Barbara Swinney. I'm a life and holistic leadership coach and coach trainer. I'm the founder and CEO of the Deeper Leader Institute for Personal and Professional Development. I'm also the founder of Deeper Women Lead Global, which is a women's empowerment organization that helps women lead for the results that they want in their own lives. Wow. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? That sounds interesting <laughs> and juicy. <laughs> well, as a woman in leadership myself, mm -hmm. um, what I found is most professional women are killing it in their profession, mm. but they're often dying inside. Wow. We're often going after things that other people want for us and not necessarily the thing that we want. So my goal, my job, my purpose is to get you to you so that you can show up in leadership wearing only the clothes that you can wear wow. and not something that somebody else bought for you. And if you wouldn't mind indulging us, just give us just a little tidbit about what your presentation will be about. Well, here's the beauty of Deeper. Living the Deeper Life is not just a hashtag. It truly is a lifestyle for me. Mm. So tomorrow I'll be talking about going deeper. If you want your life to go higher, you have to go deeper. So it's really about deciding what you want, mm. examine your life, eliminate the barriers, come up with a plan of action, evaluate your progress, and realize results. I do have a six-week group coaching program. It's a signature program for me, and we go through the deeper framework. It's actually become a framework for my coaching program. So we'll go through six weeks. We help you break down your who you are, why you're here, and getting a clear vision for yourself. We'll go through all of those six steps in the six-week group, group coaching program. Uh, we're actually in the middle of one right now, mm -hmm. and we'll be starting up again after the new year. If anybody wants to work with you or get in contact with you, because I know they do, don't <laughs> worry, folks, I got you covered, how would they be able to do that? You can reach me at deeperwomenleadglobal.org. There you can go and find out how you can book me for speaking. You can also email me at info at deeperwomenleadglobal.org. You can follow me on all of the major social media platforms at B Swinney Inc. And on, on LinkedIn, you can find me under Dr. Barbara Swinney. How many of you have ever gotten to the end of yourselves? How many of you have gone after every degree? You got the highest degree in the land. You have, have gone after every degree, every promotion. You've opened every business, and you've still come up flat. How many of you have given life everything you have only for it to give you nothing. You see, when I started this journey of healing and leading, I kept running into myself. I kept bumping into Barbara, but I didn't recognize her because she looked like you. Sometimes tall and sometimes short, sometimes fit, and sometimes wearing spanks. I heard story after story from leader after leader, stories that could have unlocked my alabaster box at least 15 years ago. But nobody could get over themselves long enough to free me. That's why I tell my story. That's why it was important for you to be here today. That's why the work that I do is so important because it's my job to get you to the bottom of who you are so you can show up in leadership wearing only the clothes that you can wear. What I've learned is we're all just reflections of each other, compartmentalized in different skin tones, different shapes and sizes. But we're one spirit. Jill Bolte Taylor, who's a neurosurgeon, said that we are 99.9% .9 biologically the same which means the rest of it, we're making up. I have been in education for 29 years. For 26 of those years, I, I've been in an active role in leadership. And here's what I've learned. Women are women, men are men, and leadership is leadership. So whether you're leading in your personal life or in your professional life, the same skills apply. In 2016, I experienced my own personal pandemic. At the height of my career with exemplary evaluations, 
I was literally tapped on the shoulder and told, your services are no longer needed in this position. Y'all, before I could wrap my mind around what was happening in my career, I learned that my marriage was up against some long-term infidelity. What is happening to my life? The two things that I most readily identified with were stripped away. But somewhere in the middle was Barbara. But I didn't know who she was. But I was determined to get to know her, even if it meant if I had to depend on who other people told me she was. I knew that if I wanted my life to look different, if I wanted my life to go higher, I was gonna have to go deeper. Decide what you want. Examine your life. Eliminate the barriers, come up with a plan of action, evaluate your progress, and realize results. Deciding what you want is really about clarity of identity, clarity of purpose, and clarity of vision. You have to silence the noise that life creates. Silence is the language that God speaks. If you make space for quiet time in your life, you will hear from who you are. And who you are will tell you what to want. I always felt like I didn't have a voice. From the boardroom to the bedroom. I don't get to have a voice. I don't have a voice. And it sounded just like that in my head. Then I realized the things that I may have been blaming my husband for belonged to my family. I was the youngest of 10 kids. I didn't have to talk. I had a whole entourage who spoke for me. So that you don't have a voice came from my programming, came from all of the stuff that I had learned when I was three years old. I had to make sure that I had a clear plan. Effective leaders, when faced with a challenge, do not ask, what can I do? They ask, who can I get to help? And y'all know what I did? I ran for help. I ran to every divorce support class. I ran to every Dave Ramsey class. I ran to every life coach. You gotta have a plan of action. Evaluate. Evaluate your progress. Because after you get clear about who you are, what you want changes. After you get clear about who you are, you will stop reaching up to people you're already above. And if you do steps one through five, I promise you, you will get results. In a six month period of time, I went through a divorce, demotion. I sent my first child off to college. I sold a house, I bought a house, and I started this life and leadership coaching business. Because I got healed, my life was falling apart in 2016. In 2018, I published my first book, It's Always Deeper, which has become a platform. It has morphed in a, into a whole platform for women in leadership to share their life stories and strategies for leadership. Because I got healed, I established the Deeper Leader Institute for Personal and Professional Development. Because I got healed, because I got healed, that place prepared me for this place. Because I got healed, because I've done my work, I can accelerate yours. You can reach out to me at deeperwomenleagueglobal.org or you can follow me on all social media platforms at Inc. Thank you very much.